Good Wednesday morning, Glads. I'm Corinne McAfee. And I'm Spencer Walter, and this is your KWHS News. Juniors and seniors, while January is quickly winding down, college visits will start up next week. Stay on top of upcoming college visits by checking in with the Counseling Center in person or visiting their website. Here are the visits scheduled for February. The Tulsa Welding School will join us on Wednesday, February 6th. Then the reps from UCCS will return on Thursday, February 7th. The reps from Colorado Mesa University will be back on Wednesday, February 20th. And Fort Hayes State will schedule a visit for Thursday, February 21st. March visits start with Adams State on the 7th. April visits kick off with Western Colorado University on April 17th. Remember, you need a pass to attend these college visits, and you can get those passes in the Counseling Center. Seniors, if you don't have your class shirt yet, you still have a chance to get it. They are available for $15 in the Counseling Center, but quantities and sizes are limited. Remember, the Senior Panoramic is scheduled for next week on Tuesday, February 5th at 7.15 in Bowers Gym. Buy your class shirt now so you can rep the class of 2019 with pride. Those of you planning to apply for the Fountain Valley Scholar Scholarship should get your applications ready right now because the deadline is this Friday, February 1st. On the other hand, if you are short on credits for graduation because you dropped the ball in your classes, remember, the next session of credit recovery is open for registration. The deadline to register is Wednesday, February 6th, and the spring session starts on Monday, February 11th, with the orientation and pre-testing in Lab 153 at 3.30. Tuition is $100 per course, and you can take up to two courses per session. See your counselor for more information and details. You can register in the WS d3.org page, select district programs, and click on high school credit recovery. Since it's scheduling season, remember that scheduled cards are due back to the Counseling Center by this Friday, February 1st. When we return from the break, we will have information on the winter formal. But first, we're heading to the sports desk for our Gladiator Sports Update with Jeremiah Jones. Good Wednesday morning, Glads. I'm Jeremiah Jones, and this is your Gladiator Sports Update. Student Appreciation Day is happening this Saturday at 2 p.m. at Clune Arena. Come watch the Air Force Academy Falcons take on the CSU Rams. Tickets for students are just $5, and adults are $7. Visit the website and use the promo code STUDENT to get your tickets. Attention, NJROTC cadets. The military ball is planned for March 16th, and it will be here before you know it. If you are bringing an outside guest, you can pick up those forms in the main office. They are due on Friday, February 22nd. We will have more information on the ball later. Our forensics team traveled to Pueblo last weekend and continues to grow their speaking experience. The team heads to Discovery Canyon campus this Friday and Saturday for a Congress tournament. We wish them good luck and clean speeches. Our ladies basketball team took the court against Woodland Park on Monday and smashed the Panthers. The ladies are back in Bowers this Friday night against the Classical Academy at 7 p.m. Come out and cheer them on to victory. Our boys basketball team traveled to Woodland Park and also schooled those Panthers with a score of 84 to 57. Way to go, fellas. The boys are traveling on Friday night to take on the TCA Titans at 7 p.m. on the TCA court. Come check out their moves and cheer them on. The ladies swim team is set for the league championships this coming Friday and Saturday at Cheyenne Mountain High School. The ladies have been tearing up the waters recently and are ready to lap some swimmers at league. Our wrestling team is headed to league championships next week at Canyon City on February 9th. The team is poised to send some wrestlers to the regional meet so they could use our support. Glads, the band department is selling bleacher seats so our tushies can have a more comfortable experience at Bowers and Foster Stadiums. The cost for the seats is reasonable. $25 $5 for one or $40 for two. Catch the pep band at all home games to buy your stadium seat. Your tushy will thank you. And while we're talking about the band, be sure to save this date, February 11th. That's when our WHS Brass Quintet and Jazz Bands will join forces with Stellar Brass, the U.S. Air Force Academy's Bands Brass Quintet, for a concert at 7 p.m. The show will be in the WHS Auditorium, and it is a free event. Come celebrate a night of amazing music. Stay tuned on Friday when we will air Damon's Dose of Health. Mr. Damon will talk to us about getting outside more. And finally, this weekend is the big game. We're not allowed to call it by a specific name, but we know many of you are cheering for the Rams or the Patriots. We know who the winner will be, 
the awesome commercials. That's it for your Gladiator Sports Update. I'm Jeremiah Jones. Have a great week. Thanks for the update, Jeremiah. Ladies, if you need a dress for the military ball or the winter formal, you should check out Becca's Closet. They have many new dresses in all sizes and styles and would love for you to come pick one out. You do need to have an appointment. See Miss Ford in room 122 or Miss HK in the library. Remember, the dresses are free and yours to keep. Corinne, did you say winter formal? I did, Spencer, but I don't have all the details. Can you help? Indeed I can. Lads, remember how Justin Timberlake brought Sexy back? Well, listen up, because NHS is doing one better. That's right, NHS is bringing back Winter Homecoming. This semi-formal dance will be on Friday, February 15th. You can buy your tickets in the business office for $5 in advance this week. If you wait, tickets at the door will cost you $10. Students in all grades will be eligible for the Winter Court. Stay tuned for more information. And now, here's Miss Betsy with the lunch menu. Take it away, Seth. Boy, what for lunch? I'm hungry. Mr. Bergen, I understand you weren't available today, but we need to change that up. We're coming to see you next time. Wednesday, yay! It's hump day. Getting closer and closer every day to May. Today we're having homemade pizza. Come on down and see us. And on Thursday, Philly's cheesesteak sandwiches. So have a good one. Bye. Thanks, Miss Betsy. Glads, remember to add money to your account by seeing Miss Betsy in the cafeteria or by going online. The Power Club will be having a meeting today at lunch in room 130 with Mrs. Sardinia. If you would like to get involved but haven't attended a meeting, this would be a great time to show up. Glads, the second week of test prep sessions will happen tomorrow. If you missed last week's sessions, you can sign up for this week's session until the end of the day today in the library. Strong scores never hurt anyone, so why not give yourself a chance? Remember, the sessions available include reading, writing, math, test anxiety, and content boosts with Khan Academy. Teachers should have flyers posted in their rooms with the dates and content. Remember, although these sessions are voluntary, they could really impact your test scores. So why not boost your scores, graduate on time, and get into the college of your choice? Best of all, the sessions are free. Finally, it's time for Penny Wars. No, you don't get to chuck them at each other. You just put them in your class box in the library. Collect all that loose change in your backpacks, cars, and in your couch, and bring them to the library. Here's how it works. Pennies count as positive points towards your class totals, so put those in your class box. Any silver you have, nickels, dimes, and quarters, as well as dollars, those count as negative points against other classes. So put those in a box other than your own class. Proceeds from this event will benefit Teen Court. Teen Court is an organization that helps teens who have made poor decisions make up for the error of their ways without judicial consequences. Penny Wars runs until February 8th. That's all we have for you today, Glads. Have a great Wednesday. I'm Corinne McAfee. And I'm Spencer Walter, and this was your KWHS News. Have a great week.